do you agree with me? And you don't have to, that the great white hope, you know who he is, right? <laughs> You've been calling Trump the great white hope, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's that important. the great white hope is a perfect example of how men should deal with evil people. Because look, he's been under attack since day one. Yeah. In a major way by the children of the lie, you know, the liberal media, the Democratic Party, Absolutely. right or Republican, never Trumpers. But look, he's still done great things in a year and over half of being in the White House. Nothing can stop him. Do you agree that he's a perfect example of the way men should function? I mean, I'll say this. I think what he's doing is incredible. I, I don't think people have to function like him. I think there's other ways of being a successful man. You don't have to be as aggressive per se as him, but I don't know that anyone else could do what he's doing. Yeah. I love, like, he's not me, but I don't look at him like other people. Oh my God, he shouldn't do that. I love it. Every day I retweet his tweets, I say, go, greatest of all time. Yeah. He's incredible. He's strong. He's crushing so many people, draining the swamp. Oh, well, he's not getting rid of everyone. You know, people, <laughs> no, he's doing so much. I, I don't know any other way. I've never seen someone so successfully dismantle so many bad people. I so, know. I mean, he's def I think one, I don't think he's the only way for every man, because if every man act like Trump, it the might world. get weird in itself, but no, if every know. man outlined Trump, the world would be great. We would have peace might, on earth. <laughs> you might be right, to be honest. Yeah, but. we would. Because, and the reason is, he doesn't have any anger, he's, so he's not afraid. Because all people who have anger are afraid, so he's not afraid. He has perfect love. Perfect love casts out fear. If you attack, he doesn't care if you're male or female, black or white, young or old. Mm retarded or sane <laughs> or, or whatever, right? He's going to he gonna fight back. He's going to call it what it is. I mean, he can't, and then he still put the country first like a good father should. Yeah. And he just doing it. And he's like totally walking around with a head in the air. And I he, love it, man. Yeah. I, I, every day I wake up and it's like, you know, I'm like, okay, this is fun. Yeah. But uh, I think you're right, too. He does attack everyone equally. I was like, yeah. if he was racist, he wouldn't attack Don Lemon because he feels like he's not equal. But yeah. it's like he's so not racist, he'll call anyone dumb. Yeah. I mean, it, it's one way to live. And that's I, right. I think it's, he it treat them all the same. And that's what love <laughs> is. Just imagine Don Lem Lemon is black. He's homosexual. <laughs> and he's on CNN. There's no way. If, if the president wasn't fair, he would attack Don Lemon back. He would be too afraid to. He's blunt, and, and people don't like the blunt truth. They like the uh, candy-coated lie. Yeah. Me, yep. someone wanting this matrix of, of lies to collapse, um, every day is Christmas morning, so right on. I'm having a good time. Are you a blunt person? Am I a what? Blunt. Oh, blunt? I think so, yeah. absolutely. And, and you're not afraid to attack back, no matter who it is? No, I, I, but I also, I think me and Trump are different in a way, and there's nothing wrong with him. And right. Maybe by the time I'm 70, I'll, you know, to be honest, I might be that savage too by the time uh, I get How old are you age, now? 28. You know, I, I like to, like he always says, these are my enemies, these are my enemies. That's fine, and he's winning, but I try to have a mentality like I don't have any enemies. Even the negative, most nasty, terrible person on the earth, I think they're filled with fear. Uh, you know, all these bad qualities of that's like self-consciousness. I don't think they're necessarily evil, but I think evil entities and mindsets have gotten into them. So I don't like to think of people as my enemies, but I, I don't like to be attacked or threatened, especially physically or financially. So when people do that, it snaps. Do you believe uh, that there is evil, good and evil? I think so. I think people, I, I don't like to look at people as enemies or evil. But I do think that there are forces and even like mindsets and actions and maybe, you know, something that's even deeper. Do you believe that there's deeper. evil working through people? I think so. And do you, do you believe that that evil hate good that work through others? I think so. But in a way, I think a lot of people that are evil, they secretly love it. Where it's like when you're jealous of somebody, the, the root of jealousy is usually love. You know, where you are jealous because you want, you want well, that love, for yourself. Hate kind of a thing. So I think, I think evil exists on like a force level, but I, I really think sometimes to get through to people, you have to be compassionate, but not weak. Like the whole left, progressive and liberal, right. they're all compassionate, but they're weak, they're naive, they're fake. So no, that's not real compassion, that's weakness. Well, they have no compassion. But to, have, but to be nice to somebody, sometimes that's the best way to get through to them, to be like, okay, I, we're similar in these ways, but you're wrong in this way, and try to like, get them out of it. Do you believe that there's evil 
that dwells in some people, especially the children of the lie. I think, in, I think in a sense, but it's like, what is that evil? I think it's, it's just years of like, you know, maybe fear and financial, like seeking money over love and, you know, the right thing. So it's like, evil is, evil is a broad term, but I, th I think even deeper than people and even energy, like I think there's something else going on on this planet and maybe the universe, uh, you know, that's like even deeper than anything we can understand. I'm black and slow, as you know. Um, do you believe... You're pretty quick. Do you believe evil dwell in some people, men and women? Uh, I mean, yes and no. It can't be both. Well, yes, in the sense of people are doing negative things, but I think... Is that evil that's causing them to do negative things? Possibly. I don't know. I'm not a, not a doctor slash chakra <laughs> healer. I don't know that... Do you believe that good dwell in some people? Absolutely. And do you believe that good causes people to do what's good? Something causes it. I don't know if it's DNA, mindset, brain, upbringing, And do you believe that evil hate or love good? I think at the end of the day, it's, it's a love-hate love, love -hate relationship. So I, I think they all coexist. There's always like the yin and the yang and the balance. But you know, is there, is there evil, is there, I, I don't know, it's a, it's, the earth is a paradox. As a Christian who's not full blown yet, do you, <laughs> I mean, do you I, believe so, evil love or hate good? Uh, like I said, I think it's a love hate. I think they hate it, but they secretly love it and they hate to love it and love to hate it. Do you believe good is of God, God is good? I hope so. Do you believe that? I think God, God is good, but if you talk to different people, they'll have a different explanation of right, God. Right, that's why I'm asking you. To me, yeah, God is good. And you, God is the energy that uh, keeps me protected and fueled and allows me to live and be here now and to have overcome so much and still be on a good path. So I'm, I'm So you do believe grateful. that good is, a, is, is just another word for God? You could say that. That's, and so do you believe that evil is of Satan? Satan is the father of evil. I, I mean, I'm, I think it's all wording and, and labeling, but I think we're on the same, the same wavelength. And so is that a yes or no? I, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a yes and a no. <laughs> so you do believe Satan is the father of evil. And so all people who are evil that. are the children of Satan. I wasn't alive uh, to, you know, see but Satan you, and, but, and God have that battle. And now that I'm here, I, I definitely see the forces. I've read the stories. I'm, I'm actually, I got the Bible and the Quran. I'm going to read both. Oh, and then man. I'm going to read both because I want to see where everyone's coming from. Like even, you know, everyone talks about Islam, but I want to, I want to know from the source. Right. I don't want to hear it's best second to find or third. Out but, so you know, I do think, you agree with me that you believe there is a Satan, right? A spirit by the name of Satan. I don't know his name, but I think there's a spirit, and I've actually had Isn't a spiritual experience. I've had a uh, sleep paralysis where I, I got like attacked by a demon in my in my sleep, and I woke up, and I haven't had it since. I've been stronger mentally and physically, but I did research, and I I, def I think there's a dark underworld, like a spiritual underworld right. that you can tap into, and, and, and I don't want to go there. And when did this happen to you? Four or five years ago, six oh, okay. years ago. Are you over it now? Totally, and I think I, I was weak. Cross. I was weak then. I'm I'm strong oh, now. Okay. I, I have God with me now, so I don't I don't even. And so, do you believe that spirit, which is of Satan, love? I mean, hate God. Uh, I I didn't get enough time with it to really <laughs> get its perspective, but I think it choked me, and I couldn't breathe for 15 minutes, so it didn't like me. So if God loves me, then I'm guessing right. it doesn't love God. It, it, hate, it hates God's children as well. And the point is, the, the children of the lie, they are pure evil. And they hate the children of the truth because the, tr the children of, of the truth, men and women of God, his children, the real ones, they are an, you know, they are an example of God and that spirit hate them. So they really want to uh, rob, steal, and kill the children of God. It's a possibility. And, and I'll they tell you don't what. realize it. They don't real. The human being, him or herself, don't realize what's driving them, but it is that spirit that's driving them. And we can't afford to pretend that it's something else, or they would defeat us. Well, I'm not weak. I'm not naive. I'm not foolish, and yeah. I'm, I'm standing on the front lines as far as 
calling out what I see on a world scale and, and on a spiritual scale, similar to you. I guess just wording and labeling might be different, but I, I think there's, there's a huge spiritual battle going on yes. in the world. There's a huge religious battle. Unfortunately, there's a racial battle that's being brought back after almost being extinct. And it's kind of just, uh, it's all going at once. So I think there's a lot going on, but the truth will prevail. Yeah. The love will prevail. God will prevail. And I good people hopefully that will wake up. I noticed that Christianity is the most hated religion on this side of heaven. Have you noticed that? Definitely in America and all over the world, but yeah. I think it's maybe the most persecuted, and that's debatable. I'd have to really research the world, but I think it's the least reported on. Like 95% of the media, they hate Christianity and they love Islam. I um, think it's because Christianity is the only religion that requires a person to repent. You have to know yourself, admit that you're wrong, and then you can change. I don't know of any other religion that requires you to do that, and most people don't like to admit that they're wrong. I, I have to, I'm going to read, I, that's in the next three years, I'm going to read all religions and become an expert, come back and... Uh, oh, that'll be good.